Today we're going to do a botanical raspberry berry. So this is our project for today and I use Arches watercolor paper when I paint and I also use Holbein watercolor paints. So I started this picture off with a sketch of the berry and then I'm going to use masking fluid to black out the whites of the berry while I begin to paint. So my sketch is dark enough for me to be able to see uh, all the different aspects of the berry and then uh, for me to be able to block out the whites or the lights that I do not want to paint over as I begin to paint this picture. I am adding in the lightest parts of the berries first, not the white, but the lightest. And I'm laying in where this light colors are and then I'm going to lay down the very dark colors. I want to see where the contrast is and this is going to give me a frame of reference while I move forward and add in the mid-tones at a later point. in my dark tones and my light tones and now I'm beginning to add in the mid-tone colors of the berry and I'm going to lay these in wet on wet very gently and I do not have a super wet brush and I'm letting this color bleed into and blend into the berry. continuing to lay in the mid-tones of this berry and then I'm taking a look. I'm stepping back to see where do I need to add more intense red? How do I need to develop the color and the shape of the berry? So that's what I'm doing when I'm looking at this and I do my first washes and then I begin to add layer upon layer of colors. And that's what makes this vibrant is by adding in layer upon layer of color and I let these, co these colors dry in between and then I continue to add on more color. I'm going to let that berry dry and while it's drying I'm going to lay out some of the greens that are inside of this stem and on the cap of, the, of this berry. And these leaves do not touch that berry at all. So I'm not gonna have to worry about having water from the stem bleed into the water of the berry. It'll create blooms, it'll create muddied uh, you know, colors in there. And then as I finish up laying these greens and these little stems and sticks, I'm using my rubber cement eraser and I'm gently removing all of the masking fluid from this and you're starting to see these white pieces um, that, are, that are actually unpainted. So that's because of the masking fluid that I put down and I put that down because I want to protect the white when I'm working with a picture like this. Now I had let my picture dry and then after it was completely dry, I began to lay water in and around the stems. I did not put it on top of the stems. I'm working around everything. I'm not letting what I'm working on in the background touch the berry or go over those leaves. I'm protecting it. And so this is a wet on wet technique. 
and paint is only going to go where the water is. So when I lay down water and then I go ahead and um, put in more color, that color is going to bleed beautifully into the background. And what you just saw me do, my paper was all crinkled. So I flipped it over, I sprayed the back uh, with a little bit of water, and then I taped it back down on the board so it was flat. So after I let that dry, then I began to add in another layer of my reds. Um, I've reached a point where I could look at this again. Um, take your time, look at your picture again and again and again and again, and just continue to add in different shades of the red, the mid-tones. Um, look to see where you need to act, add in more vibrant colors. Look to see where you need to add in more darkness to give contrast and develop the color. And then uh, as I'm moving forward, I'm gonna develop the stems, the detail, of uh, the little white, um, little hairs that are sticking up in the berries. Some of them are darker, some of them are white. So just continue, I just continue to rotate around the picture, look at my reds, and look at the picture, and then continue to develop it. I love watercolors. They have such vibrancy, uh, and you can saturate the colors so beautifully it's just a very unique medium to you so i hope you're enjoying it and i would love to see your work too I'm coming to the end of my picture and you can see I'm using a little bit of a white gel pen to make that white pop. I decided to keep the stark contrast of the white and not touch that much. I didn't want to add much color in there and I want to make sure that I've got the white lights really shining through. I really enjoyed painting this picture. I would really like to see yours. You can show me on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and please subscribe and I will see you next time.